Hi, hi. All right, so um, I was explaining the um, the ad. So what they did was, so there was like two, there was like two polls, and um, there was a click on, there was a click on, there was a like Burger King's Facebook page, and there was a another this thing that gave them an invite, <clears throat> or they gave them a coupon to get a big mark. And this was supposed to be their most this was supposed to be their their audience like their loyal of the loyalist audience but we according to the pool they lost thirty thousand. so they, they had okay i think they had 38 million people in that group after the after that pool they only had after that pool, so the only the people that responded, the people that actually liked the pool were only eight million. So they lost about thirty million. If it's not if it's not million, it's thousand. But let me know exactly. Let me, let me put it at thousand. Let me, so that would be I would be safe. How many people are in the world? Seven billion. I mean, thirty eight million is not too plenty. But uh, I'll just try to find it. Give me five minutes. Burger King Norway had 38,000 likes on Facebook, but unfortunately, many of the so-called fans were not fans at all, and they were only hanging around for the wrong reasons. So we decided to launch a brand new Facebook page strictly for true and engaged fans who would never trade the Whopper for any other burger. Get rid of the free riders, we put their loyalty to the test. Burger King presents Whopper Sellout. At whoppersellout.com, you had two choices. You could be a true fan and join Burger King's new Facebook page, or you could receive a free Big Mac and get banned from Burger King's Facebook page for eternity. Suddenly, it became quite clear who just liked the Whopper and who really loved the Whopper. A couple of days later, the sellouts received a voucher for a free Big Mac in the mail including a signed goodbye letter from Burger King, reminding them that they were banned from Burger King's Facebook page for eternity. Results. We had 1,000 Big Macs to give away, and after a week, Whopper sellout was sold out. During that time, Burger King lost over 30,000 followers on Facebook. But now, they have a page with 8,000 true and dedicated fans that interact with the brand in a much more positive way. And the engagement level is five times higher compared to the old one. Mission accomplished. All right. So you see that my explanation did not do justice to, to the ad. Uh, the, the actual documents was a was a was an article on um, this thing was an article on um, customers um, it was detailing a certain customer base customer 4.0 so i'll drop the link um let me drop the link now in our whatsapp group but it will be in the class notes when i share the class notes at the same time it'll be in the class notes so um Bishop, so it's not really so to now properly answer your question. It's not really about um, it's not about whether you shouldn't react or whether you shouldn't respond to ads. In fact, in in the industry, you would find a lot of um, in in you find a lot of um, remarks, a lot of competitive ads, sometimes even direct responses to a competitor's previous ads. An example is with Pepsi and um, and Coca-Cola, Apple and Samsung. You see direct remarks calling the other person out. But so um, it's the question is, or the question is, so why are you reacting? 
why are you reacting and how should you react so if you have no cogent if you are just reacting because they called you out it means you obviously fall into whatever um you, you obviously fall into whatever uh trap or pitfall that they have set or that they have seen in order for, that they have to call you out in an ad you get my point Hello. All right. Uh, so moving forward, can everyone hear me? Yeah. All right. I'm glad any everyone can hear me. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to leave the. I'm going to upload the slides to our drive so that we get we get it. And please go through the slides. There's there's like a task at the end of the slide, and there'll be links to help or to provide insight on how to go about on how to go about the task. So we're gonna be moving into what we should have, what we should have for today's session. Um, let me just stop this recording so that we can have fresh recording for the next one.